Hello, Crossroads Baptist Church family. I want to say hello and just to let you know, making got on here to make a little short video. This is going to be a trial run. We're uh, trying to obviously get things figured out as we go. Uh, we're trying to uh, make a little trial run here for hopefully Sunday. We are planning on having a uh, sermon for you Sunday. Preacher is going to bring us a sermon, hopefully Sunday. So we're trying this out, uh, see what happens. Um, but to be able to provide you a sermon for Sunday morning, our goal is is to uh, do a Sunday. It will obviously not be live. It will be through this uh, website uh, that we will be sending out to you. Uh, so once we send this to you, hopefully you get it. Uh, if you could, please just bookmark it, add it to your favorites. Um, that way you'll be able to find it, and hopefully Sunday, uh, about noon, we should have a uh, pastor's sermon ready for you to view uh, through that URL that you will receive, hopefully, uh, to be able to watch that Sunday. Obviously, it's uh, a little bit different. Uh, I am not comfortable doing this. I've never <laughs> made any kind of video or anything, but uh, not very comfortable doing it. We'll have to adjust. But we are looking at getting set up with live streaming just right now. We do not have that available. Uh, so hopefully in the near future we'll be able to do, to do that and through our website. But right now this is where we're having to do it. But it felt weird um, Sunday to be sitting at home, um, not sick, not uh, bad weather. And uh, just felt a little bit different Sunday, not being at church, not being with all of you last Sunday. And... Uh, we are definitely praying that uh, this passes quickly and try to get you some updates through this URL as well when we might be able to meet again uh, to come back. Obviously, we do not know a time uh, yet. Just have to see what transpires, uh, what goes on in the next few weeks. Uh, but hopefully, we'll be able to, near future, be able to meet back again. And um, it's, it's kind of weird. I'm out here talking to a bunch of empty seats now, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to get back soon, uh, be, be meeting again. Hope you all are safe. I just want to mention a couple things. Uh, first off, um, if, if you need anything, please let us know. I will be here at the church most of the time. You can give us a call, uh, shoot us a text. Uh, most of you have my phone number as well. So if you see you need anything at all, groceries, um, need somebody just to do some errands for you. We are more than happy to help you. Just please let us know. Uh, we would love to be able to help you any way we can. Um, and then if you have any prayer requests or anything you would like for the church to be praying with you about, please let us know those as well. We can get them out through the prayer chain, through email. Uh, so if there's something you would like for us to be praying specifically about as a church family, uh, just please get those to us and we would uh, love to pray with you with those things and, and, and those matters that you may have need of. Uh, so just please let us know. If there's anything else, you see something that uh, can help or do anything, just please feel free to give us a call or let us know. We'd love to help you in that way. Obviously, these next few weeks are going to hold um, changes for all of us as our community works through this, uh, the challenge of the COVID uh, 19 virus. Uh, we are definitely in unprecedented and uncharted times as a nation, as a church. Uh, we have never seen anything like this yet, but hope we'll be able to work through the, these times, uncharted times. And um, we who know Christ, um, we can still proactively practice our faith day in and day out as we live and go through this. Even when our world seems to be a little bit turned upside down right now, a little bit uh, on edge, one thing for sure, as a Christian, we, we know we can trust God that He is in control. He's in control and that He's working. The Bible says in Psalms chapter 46, uh, the Bible says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. 
with that in mind, I want to give you just a few things, maybe, that can help us um, to make the most of this time that uh, we're in right now, make the most of this God-given opportunity that we are in. Uh, first off, the first thing we can do, and um, unfortunately for us as Christians, it's usually one of the last things we can do, is we can pray. And um, what we, uh, one of the greatest privileges we have as a Christian is to be able to pray, talk to the Almighty God, the Creator of us, and be able to go before Him and uh, be able to have fellowship with Him, uh, be able to have a time of uh, bringing our requests and different things to Him. So obviously we can, we can pray, take time to cast, the Bible says, our every burden on the Lord. Every morning throughout the day to be able to go to the Lord. Now, I believe in this, parents, that uh, it's a wonderful time to take, uh, since we actually have more time with our kids, most of us, to be able to take time to pray with them, pray with your families, uh, to be able to spend time around the Word of God uh, during this time. Um, I, I know there's a lot of bad things that have come about with this virus, but I believe one of the positives we can look at is um, us being able to slow down. America, we often run to and fro and um, have very little time to get anything done, but it seems like, especially for myself, it's been a nice time to be able to take a deep breath, to uh, take a little time to be able to spend with our family and um, to be able to spend with our God and taking time to be around the Word of God and be able to pray. And So I hope you are taking advantage of this time to draw closer to the Lord, draw closer to your family. Um, one of the things that I, I started doing uh, over the last little bit in, in my Bible is uh, taking a book, uh, and it's been good, especially this month, I have chosen the book of Ephesians, and what I do is I am reading through the book of Ephesians um, every day for the whole month, and uh, really absorbing, and it's amazing how oftentimes we can read and stuff not absorb, but the more we read it, the more it sets into us, so I've been taking... Um, a, a chapter in the New Testament and reading it. Uh, if it's a longer chapter, I break it up a little bit, but Ephesians only has six chapters. So I've been reading the, the book of Ephesians every day and we'll continue to do that for the rest of April. Um, just, uh, I encourage you to do something like that, to take, take time to be able to spend in God's Word and actually study God's Word. Uh, maybe to have, if you do not already have a, a time of family devotions, to be able to gather around the Word of God, to be able to pray together as a family. What a wonderful thing that we have that opportunity to do that. So now may be a good time to start something like that, uh, just to be able to renew our focus on the Lord Jesus Christ, to be able to set our, our hearts towards Him. And uh, so I believe if something good can come out of this, it is that. that we just take time to breathe, take time to go to the Lord, take time to pray, make time for things that are important that oftentimes we allow the things of life to crowd out. So I, I challenge you to pray, get, a, get around the Word of God, um, pray for your boss, pray for your co-workers, pray for your lost family, um, pray for your pastor, um, give him spiritual wisdom, uh, pray for our president, pray for our leaders during this time. I can't imagine um, the pressure and the decisions that they are have, our government is having to make on a daily basis. We may not agree with everything that they are doing, but we should spend more time praying for them than complaining about them. And uh, just ask the Lord to give them wisdom and the decisions they have to make uh, in, in the days ahead. And why we, we can worry or we can pray. We can worry or we can pray. I think we should choose to pray. So first thing we can do is to help make the most of this is pray. Secondly, uh, to help those that are around us. Maybe to be able to take time to um, do something for an elderly person around you, somebody that has needs, uh, somebody that has physical liabilities and different things, to be able to just take time to try to help them, uh, even in our church family. Uh, just taking the time out of your schedule to call and check on them, see if they need anything, makes a big difference uh, in this time. We can all uh, jump in to help those who have underlying needs at this time. Next, we can uh, read. If you're quarantined, it's a good time to read, uh, 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 to spend time at home. Excellent opportunity to enrich your life through reading. Uh, number four, we can love. 
love your family, be kind to your neighbors, uh, encourage your co-workers, uh, maybe even reach out to some friends who you haven't talked to in a while, just try and encourage them in the Lord uh, to lift each other up uh, by reaching out, just to love those that are around you. Uh, you. You get on Facebook and you get on different places and you can see just a lot of negativity towards each other. Uh, try to spend some time building each other up and uh, loving each other. And then worship. Worship. Obviously, we are not able to meet together as a church right now, um, but we are trying to find creative ways to assemble through, assemble through this video in different avenues and venues. And uh, so uh, we, we're going to try to keep you up to date with some sermons that we'll be able to do in the next uh, little bit through this video, these videos, and uh, just even though our Normal meetings are disrupted. Uh, make worship with your church family a priority. Um, when we do these videos, I encourage you as a family, um, Sunday when we get the video out, to gather your family together, uh, take time, and, and just listen to the Word of God, interact with your family about the Word of God, listen to the preaching, and, and not just flippantly, but come uh, even though you'll be at your house, just make it a time of worship for you and your family to be able to do uh, around the preaching of God's Word. Uh, so I encourage you as a family to get together as we send these videos out, uh, to sit down and watch them together and uh, glean from the Word of God what uh, is brought from uh, our pastor and, and uh, those that are uh, bringing these. So I encourage you to meet together as a family, continue to worship, uh, to make uh, your church family a priority, make your church service a priority, uh, and then uh, not, only that, not only that, but to continue. Uh, the local church is so much more than just an assembly, although it does include assembling together, but even when assembly times are unusual like this, you can still participate as a part of Christ's local church body as you pray, as you serve, as you give and reach out to others. Look for opportunities to spread uh, the Gospels. Uh, take a time like this opportunity to plant seeds. Um, just as many of us or some of you will plant seeds in the garden in the upcoming weeks, fully expecting the harvest later. So we can use this unusual time, unusual season, to plant seeds of prayer, plant, plant seeds of kindness, plant seeds of the Gospel to those that are around us. Be sure we're using this time to sow, because God will bless faithful labor for Him. Faithful labor in Him. Galatians chapter 6, one of, our, one of my favorite verses, Galatians 6, 9, says, And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Keep on doing right, keep on seeking the Lord, keep on growing in your relationship with Him, Keep on desiring the Lord more and more each day. And let plant the right seeds and let God give the increase. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So I encourage you with these words today. Um, hopefully uh, this gets to you and uh, you can tune in as well Sunday afternoon. Listen to the message that Pastor has. We love you guys. We miss you. We're praying for you. And please, once again, if there's anything we can do to help you, uh, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. God bless you all. Thank you.